What is going on YouTube, Foxy Cooper coming to you guys today with a brand new video and in today's video we are going to be looking at the LAD machine gun or the LAD machine gun. I hope you guys do enjoy. This is the brand new LMG in Call of Duty World War 2. I got to give a huge shout out to my man Zach for letting me use his account. Thank you so much Zach, I do appreciate it. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, use discount code FOXY at gfield.com for 10% off your purchases and without further ado. Let's go, bros. London Docks. All right. All righty. So this is the LAD or the LAD machine gun. It's an LMG, like I already said. Apparently, it's really good. But as you guys can see, I just noticed it, actually. In the kill feed, this gun is the Lewis in the kill feed. I think that's a bug because the new bar or the, the new gun or uh, the new assault rifle... Um, looks like the bar as well in the kill feed oh my goodness holy shnikes the new uh what's it called the new kg m21 yeah in the kill feed it, it looks like the stg and it, it's weird i don't know oh my god thank god holy shit you didn't see the other guy really my teammates are playing like noobs yeah so apparently this gun's really good a lot of people said that it was really really good I, I know that the stats really don't mean anything like the statistics and numbers and things like that for the weapons don't really mean anything they're kind of just like a placebo sorta but um they're the same stats as the lewis I don't do research on this stuff. I just kind of play the fucking game. I like that you guys educate me in the comments of videos when I say stuff because I don't know a lot about guns and I don't know a lot about certain weapons. Dude, this guy's still sitting here. What are you doing? Fucking move, 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 dude, move. Toss that over there. Oh, well, no, never mind. There's no other gun sound really in this game that kind of sounds like this. I mean, eh. It's got that, oh my god, but yeah, there's fire shotguns still. That was a late ass reaction. This gun doesn't seem like it's as big, if, if that makes any sense. Like, it doesn't feel like an LMG. I mean, it kinda does, but it doesn't, it doesn't have like a super heavy feeling in my opinion. Maybe I, maybe I just feel different about that, but that's how I look at it. It doesn't feel like an LMG. It doesn't feel heavy, like say the Lewis does. <laughs> Take that. Ah, damn. Thought I was gonna get his ass. Dude. Alrighty, we're gonna go around here. Nobody over here. There's a guy right there. Still sitting there with you with the LMG. Kobe. Throw that right in there. Oh, that didn't get anybody, okay. Alright, yeah, that's right. We're gonna use an LMG on shipment. Fuck it. We're just gonna hide behind the car. <laughs> Dude, it's a 3v4. Kobe! Double kill. Nice. No, I don't no, not nice. I don't wanna stay over here. Dude, they're gonna- Oh my god, they're laying Bettys all over the map, dude. Holy shit, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Oh, oh, it's the, um, it's the- What's it called? It's the, um, I think it's the- We're waiting. Is it the crossbow? Is that what that is? Nope. Ooh. Holy shnikes. Alright, cool, now we got a full lobby. I have a question for everybody. As you guys noticed yesterday in my shipment game, I had someone just completely snap onto me. And like, oh, oh, dude, I thought I stuck my teammate and he went in there and killed somebody. That would be freaking awesome. I have a question for you guys, though. For those of you who, um, for those of you that play World War II still, do you guys ever find it that, like, someone just, like, kind of snaps onto you, like, out of nowhere, kind of? I know that that kind of happens to Call of Duty, but as if they're, I don't know, not that they're hacking, because, like, I don't think that, you know, people, like, would do that. I, I, mean, I mean, you never know, but like, I don't know. Spree. Double kill. Triple kill. Dude, what the hell? Double kill. Triple kill. Killing frenzy. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Running riot. Rampage. 
I was on a 20. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alrighty, woo! Alright, Team Deathmatch. We're playing on USS Alexis, Texas. And, uh, yeah. So, I put a red dot sight on this because I didn't like the iron sights. Okay, yeah. Alright, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> One guy. I just want to wait for this guy to run in. Come on, come on. Just come in. Come in through the door. It's okay. No? Alright, currently waiting. There he is. They're all just like sitting around camping, shotguns, things like that. Okay, all good. All good. Dude, this kid is. Yeah, you're dead. Oh my goodness, get out of here, bro. Interesting. Oh, you're done too. So, is this just like Call of Duty Camp War 2? Is that what this is today? Nope. Nope. There's a bomber in the air. Oh, yeah, and then there's an artillery. That's awesome. <laughs> I've killed this guy three times in a row. That's funny. Double kill. Nope. Spree. Nope. This is a. Dude, like, dude, like, with the fucking Lewis, too. Love it. Hell yeah. Goodbye. Nice little three shot. There's one. No. Definitely didn't think that was a guy there. But that's all good. This gun's pretty good. Like I said, it's like a three shot. <laughs> nope. I mean, if y'all want to... No, nope, we're on a 10. Ah, it's all good. They camped. I had, I like had to wait for them to like push to me, man. Cause like if I, if, if, if I'm running into them, if I'm running just straight up in them, like I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get like triple team. So I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't gonna basically commit suicide, you know? Okay, so I just, I just kind of like looked it up just now because I know that people are gonna tell me in my comments where this gun came from. And I kind of want something to talk about. So the LID machine gun is a Soviet Union prototype light machine gun or it's it's a soviet union prototype machine gun so that's kind of cool you know this is a russian gun or soviet union whatever you, the fuck you want to call it but i'm running infantry on this now because i decided that i wanted to um run four attachments i wanted to run a uh, rapid fire and grip on this because hold on no f uh, is that is that a waff is that a waff soviet union gun I'll take it. Apparently, the KG M21 was a Swedish uh, bar. It's like a it's like a bar replica just from Sweden. Get your whiff off of me! <laughs> am I running specialist still? Pretty sure I am. What? This thing has like 50 bullets in it, so I don't think there's a need for extended mags, honestly. But. I kind of figured there would be. I don't know. These kids, these kids are not that good. Nope. Okay, yeah, we're gonna back up. There's a guy right there. Killing frenzy. Okay, we're on a ten. Nice. Nope, okay, we're gonna run away. I don't have a sticky on this class. It's a... Okay, hold on. Thank God. No! Ugh! Guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like Carrington? Because I think this map is pure garbage. <laughs> I've said this before, but I find it very odd. I mean, I guess it's not real odd considering the campaign does not have any Soviet Union or Japanese factions in the campaign. But I just think it's... I, I thought it was a little odd how they included, like, Japanese weapons and Russian weapons in this game. Uh, I guess it gives the weapon variety a little bit more depth considering that they also have Italian weapons in this game as well uh, because you know, allies and axis and things like that. But uh, there's no, there's no like Japanese characters either, which is odd, <laughs> but whatever. It's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, th there was, there was a time where I, I definitely thought it was a big deal because I was just like, you know, it adds a little bit more depth, like I said, to the game. Like it adds, um, you know, immersion, like I said yesterday with the gun sounds and things like that. Like if they had, you know, different factions instead of just allies and axis, you know, 
we could have different announcers and you know just like kind of like world at war if you guys haven't seen the video where i took call of duty world war 2 gameplay and replaced all the sound effects with call of duty world at war sound effects you guys definitely should go check that out i'll, I'll, I'll plug that in it's a pretty good video i did it all myself it, it's really really awesome so definitely go check that out homies uh it's like two gameplays one from the german side and then one from the american side i was gonna do the mp40 and then i decided not to and i kind of regret not doing the mp40 because i did the ppsh instead but it's whatever and i thought about doing another one i have done another one since then i did black ops sound effects in black ops 4 gameplay so like i took sound effects from the first three black ops games and i overdubbed the uh, Black Ops 4 sound effects with all those sound effects. So, like, I played with the Rampart. And I used the BO2 Scar gun sound, and I put it over top of that. So, you know, just, like, little things. I like creating shit, man. God damn. No. Oh, dude, I wish I had seen him. Oh, good. Guys, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Zach, thank you so much again for letting me use your account. Tomorrow, tomorrow, because this video is going out on Saturday, tomorrow is Xbox E3. I'll probably have a video come out tomorrow on this channel, the Call of Duty channel, but I think I might go live on the Halo channel tomorrow. If you guys don't know, I have a Halo channel, and my Halo channel is down in the description below, so if you guys want to go subscribe to that, we just hit over a thousand subscribers. Uh, I just think I think I put out a new video this week. I'm going to go live on there tomorrow, and we're going to watch the Xbox E3 briefing, because there's supposed to be a lot of Halo news, and apparently there's going to be Halo Infinite gameplay. Also, if you guys do enjoy Halo content, go check out my man Hidden Xperia's video today. I'm included in it, so make sure you guys go check that out. It talks about what we think is going to happen tomorrow at E3 for Halo. I'm in the video. It's great. Some OGs will remember the o the the Halo helmet, the Master Chief helmet that I have. I put that on and did some, you know, assumptions and uh, hopes and realistic expectations for E3 for Halo tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so go watch that video. I'll leave that video in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support on the World War II videos. I'm going to get back to Black Ops 4 uh, in a little bit. But, you know, I wanted to cover all the World War II weapons because there's no one really covering them. And I wanted to cover them. I wanted to see, you know, get back into the game a little bit, see what it's like. You know, I'm still not my favorite COD. But I will say as far as content goes, this game delivered on the content portion. They gave us good content. They gave us plenty of content. And... I can appreciate that, and I appreciated it when it was first out, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.